O'Rourke. Reinforcements have arrived in Fairfield to help in the search for a missing college student. Nine News reporter Valerie Miller is live at the command center where experienced search experts are leading teams to search new areas. Valerie? Tanya, there have been plenty of volunteers in this search effort. Maybe what has been missing is experienced team leaders out in the field to take charge. Well, today, Texas EquiSearch brought in those experts from all over the country. If you see a pile of brush, you have to go through that pile of brush. She might be covered up with bushes or, or tree limbs. That is Tim Feb from Orlando, Florida. He got straight to the point with his team of volunteers. He talked about using walking sticks to poke into thick bushes and to be on the lookout for raised mounds of dirt. This team started at the edge of the trees and went in a line about 10 feet in and then turned back around and came back out. In addition to local volunteers on foot, others went off-road on ATVs to search dense vegetation. This is the view from the driver's seat. There are so many of these different kinds of areas to search and really no clues to point police or search teams in the right direction to find Caitlin Markham. In some cases you're going to sit there and have that one direction that you need to concentrate and go but in this case uh, there is, there's no boundaries. There are no boundaries to this to this case whatsoever so you have to keep uh, you have to keep your grid going uh, and make sure that in that grid you cover every piece of ground that is a viable spot. There is certainly a break in the weather. It is tough to work through the mud and the rain, though, but not nearly as difficult or dangerous as working in the intense heat of last week. And despite how cool it is outside and the little bit of rain that is falling, team leaders are still reminding searchers to stay hydrated. Now, uh, one new development, uh, Jeff Ruby is continuing his generosity. He started with a $10,000 donation to the cause last week. Today, he's providing box lunches and salads for the volunteers here. They're planning to continue these searches until about 4 o'clock in the afternoons through Saturday. Tanya? Let's hope they don't need to continue that long. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Valerie.